Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I'm sorry I haven't been here in a while. I've been working like a like a dog on my new short film Husky, uh, which is due out on the 20th of November, and there will be a link in link in the description. So uh, get ready for that one. So in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at one of the new features that was brought out in Final Cut Pro 10.1 um, or 10.0.1, I should say and that is roles. Now assigning media roles is essentially a very um, clever new way of organizing your media um, since the absence of track based file um, organization. Now Apple are trying to say that you don't need tracks and that this very flexible timeline is a much easier way to work. Now whilst I think it's an easier way to edit in a lot of cases, I think that tracks actually have very good purposes. For instance, you could have a track for dialogue or a track for music, and then you'd simply be able to turn off that track and then and then export your film without the audio track, um, without a specific track or a specific video track. Um, real world example, you've been adding some pieces of music, you think it looks, sounds great with Hans Zimmer's new uh, piece for Inception, however obviously you don't have permission, but obviously you can use that piece just as a placeholder to say this is the kind of music I'm on in this scene, and then you can send the film off without that piece of music. Um, to your composer or you can send it to another application where you can then work on the music however you work um, and then obviously you've got the film without the music now Final Cut Pro have, has now got a way of um, performing them tasks which I think is actually superior to track based media and I'll give you a few reasons why now let's just go ahead and introduce ourselves to this new feature if we go down here you can see you can show or hide the show or hide the timeline index and we click that you can see that straight away we're brought into the roles menu and if you can't see that just click on where it says roles now by default um, any video clip is assigned a video role and any video with dialogue is assigned a dialogue role um, any piece of audio is assigned a dialogue role unless it has a genre tag which it may have picked up in iTunes in which case it will assume the music tag uh, role. Now once you start assigning roles to specific media um, elements within your timeline you can actually go ahead and disable specific elements. For instance if I turn off dialogue you can see that it's turned off all of my audio tracks because none of them are music tracks. Um, and now if we play the film back we have no sound playing whatsoever. We can also if we go into the share menu we go export media you can see we've got some great export settings and you can actually export roles as a multi-track QuickTime movie and roles as separate files which means that you would be able to export say your music as a single file your dialogue as a separate file but all with a simple uh, with, with a single cl click so you wouldn't have to keep on going through enabling dialogue, disabling music, uh, disabling music, enabling dialogue and then keep on pressing share. Um, you can literally do it all through the share menu in one go which is great. Now the only thing that tracks have more is that the, the only thing that tracks do better is the fact that you can literally drag and drop a video or audio file into the specific track and it's a little bit harder um, or a little bit slower to assign tracks in Final Cut Pro 10. Now once you learn the shortcuts it can get very quickly. Now let's say we wanted to add a music track to this piece of audio here. We just give this a play and see what it sounds like. Okay it's the sound of a car, it's clearly not music but in this instance let's call it music. Um, what we're going to do is hold down Control Alt and M and you can see that over here we've now got a music role um, in our list. Now if we'd have brought a piece of music into the timeline then it would have added music to the list of roles that we have within our timeline automatically. Um, but we can now see that this clip has uh, 
a music tag. Now, one of the other ways to add a brand new role is if we go into the inspector panel, if you can't see that, just click on the eye and then go over to the info section. You can see that there is now a roles section and from here we can choose any of these audio roles. You want to learn the shortcuts, I would, if you're going to start using uh, roles because I would. And then you can also see that we can actually add new roles. We can press add and we can choose a new audio role or, or a new video role. So let's go for a new audio role and say Foley. Sorry, I can't seem to talk today. Um, with a capital F. And then click OK. And then, if we go into this menu and then click on Foley, you can see that Foley has been added to our list of roles and the sound of a car is now on the Foley stem, which is the correct way to talk about the roles. Um, different media stems, I guess. And you can see it's really that easy to add different roles to the clips. Let's try another. We'll select our clip. Actually, let's go for this shot. We can clearly see this is um, a very ungrammatical term, a face shot. Um, let's select face shot. And then close that. And you can see if we now disable face shot, this clip will be enabled. I'm um, sorry, disabled. And we can bring that back as well. You can also choose the option to minimize the clip. So let's say we wanted to um, just not get rid of, but just minimize, um, shrink the size just in the timeline of the video clips just to save room. You can see that now all the clips have dropped down in size. We've lost our video thumbnail. Um, and it gives us more room to work on some of the other stems, such as the Foley and dialogue, and also the music. Um, so now let's try bringing in an audio clip from iTunes. We type in Scripture and bring in the reversed fate song. You can see that because it has a genre tag from iTunes, that we've now got a music role within our role list. Now we can play it with our music. Not that it's a fitting song. Um, there will be a link for this song if you want the free download in the description. And then obviously we can disable music and export the film without the music. But remember, we can now go into share, choose export media, and export we can audio rolls only as separate files so that means that the video tracks will all be exported into a single track um, but the audio tracks will all be separate files so we'll have an audio um, file for dialogue an audio file for music and an audio file for foley so this is a really cool uh, new advanced feature in fi inside of final cut pro 10 that I think it's going to be very useful, um, really cool new way to work, um, that's very different to tracks. I think some people will still want tracks, and I think that this is a very good alternative. It's, um, you could say it's a replacement, um, but it's, it's not really an extension of tracks, more of a completely different way of looking at it. Um, if that makes sense. So hopefully this has been useful, now you know what the, uh, audio roles are, not just audio roles, just the roles and media stems with inside of Final Cut Pro 10.0.1 I believe we're running here, let's check that out 10.0.1, there you go, and there are a couple of other features that I'll be going over in future tutorials, remember to request tutorials in the description below, leave feedback, comments, rate, subscribe everything you can offer and if you feel like it you can donate over I believe well, danallenfilms.com and go on to the contact page. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon with a brand new tutorial.